Hey guys, what's up? Popless Dragon here with another deck profile. Today I will be doing a deck profile on my natural aroma, as I like to call it. Pretty much it's just a build of Naturia mixed with Roma, so it's pretty much got Bamboo Shoot, which uh, is one of my favorite cards. Um, I've always really enjoyed the Naturia, so uh, pretty much you can just use your fuel card to give uh, Naturia a Bamboo shoot 2500 attack, so it makes them a little bit hard to get over. And uh, just also have the perks of the aromas mixed with some of the Nutria stuff. So, uh, start things off running triple the uh, triple Nutria cliff. Uh, his effect is when he's sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon a level 4 lower Nutria from your deck and face up attack. Uh, pretty much, you'll cycle through it, or you can go in for cherries if you need to, but normally, you'll just cycle through them if need be. And with uh, your field card you can go to 200, I mean 2000. Then uh, triple lone fire blossom. Um, just get to what you need. Dex in a little bit. All that good stuff. Triple arrow mage jasmine. Um, pretty much the best one of the arrow mages in my opinion. Um, you can lone fire right into it in defense. And if you have your field go ahead and gain some life points and uh, then gain additional normal summon of a plant. So uh, all good things. Then triple nature your cherries. Um, adds a little bit more stall to the deck and also gives you a tuner for synchro options. Then we got double bamboo shoot. Um, his effect is if you tribute any churia, then your opponent can activate any spell traps. So pretty straight up. Great card. I uh, really love this card. So cute. But uh, yeah, let's get on to the other stuff. Two rosemaries. Um, just two in here, just good for changing battle position, and it's your beater. Also, if you have higher life points, then uh, if it's a plant destroys one of your opponent's monsters for battle, uh, they can't activate any effects till the end of the damage step, so it's nice for uh, crashing their shadows or something, they won't get their flip effects, so it's pretty cool. Two cactus bouncers, so after you have out your bamboo shoot, you can just summon this guy, then not have to worry about anyone special summoning and trying to get over your bamboo. And then two Cagnos. While you have higher life points, all your points must lose 500 attack and defense, which again helps your bamboo. And uh, every time you gain life points, you can bounce Spell or Trap. So that's it for the monsters. On to the spells. I'm doing triple Aroma Garden. Um, pretty much any Aroma deck you're going to run, well, all Aroma decks you're going to run, you're going to use triple Aroma Garden. Uh, the field card is really awesome. It also looks pretty sweet. A nice little garden there. Cool house and field. But uh, yeah, as long as you control the aroma, you can gain 500 life points. Then all your monsters gain 500 attack and defense, which is pretty cool. And if one of your aromas die, then uh, you gain an additional 1,000. Also, what's cool about this card is even if it leaves the field, uh, you'll still gain the boost until your turn again. It could last until uh, the end of your post turn. So. Pretty cool little card. Two plot dualities, add a little more consistency, try to get to what you need. Two magic planners, uh, same thing, you run a lot of traps, a lot of continuous traps, so uh, if you just got one that's kind of dead, you can just get rid of it and get some draws from it. One Regeki, get rid of problem max stuff. Book of Moon, a little bit of protection. And one Terraforming, just try to get your field a little quicker. Then on to the traps. Running triple humid wind. Um, it's your searcher. It also can allow you to gain life points if your life points are lower than your opponent. So, great card. And triple phoenix chain. <laughs> this makes your uh, your bamboo is protected and all your other little guys are protected. So, uh, it's good stuff. And you can, if it's stuck on the field, like I said, you can just use your magic planner, get rid of it, and draw two. Two dried winds. Every time you gain life points, you can pop it upon its monster. Um, it's also got an effect that you can also use if your life points higher than your opponents. You can pay the difference and pop monsters equal to that, but uh, you're rarely ever going to use that. Then one Vandy's Emptiness, just because it's still a great card, uh, it can stop certain plays, so good stuff. And one Bottomless, finish off the trapped lineup. So that's it for the main deck. On to the extra. We have one Dower Magician, one Heartland Draco, one Castell. One Exiton, uh, one Steel Swarm Roach, one Digesto Emerald, one Alucard, one Zen Mains, one Fortune Tune, one Skycloud Centauria, one Gachi Gachi Gantetsu, 
one Duluhan, one Armades, one Echeria Beast, and one Armory Arm. Um, yeah, you don't really go to the extra deck too often. Um, Armory Arm's nice to give your Bamboo Shoot another 1,000 attacks, so you can go up to uh, 3k, and if he destroys anything, they'll take damage equal to that monster's attack, so it's always cool. And, uh, yeah, just lots of other things for certain situations, just in case if it does come up. But, uh, yeah, there was my Natural Aroma deck. I thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys later.